shit, 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 my glasses. Oh. All right. We are good to go, man. I think. What do I look like? Oh yeah, look at that majesty. Look retarded. All right, so um, I want to do this cooking show, and uh, I think this one is to just uh, try out the camera to see if uh, everything works out. I'm obviously too poor to buy a real GoPro, so I bought this like strap thing. So I put my phone onto my forehead like an idiot, and uh, you can see what I see. Um, so yeah, mostly I want to just showcase some simple dishes that you can cook every day. Um, kind of forced to cook once I come to America because nobody here seems to know how to make clean food at a restaurant. They're always super greasy. Um, so... Today we'll do a simple vegetarian dish. Um, a common misconception is all Chinese food has meat in it, right? So we're going to do a completely vegetable thing. Um, and it's really simple. It takes about 10 minutes at most. Um, ow, shit, I hit my head. Um, Let's see what else we need. Some of these. So you want to... Um, fridge is actually really dry. So you kind of want to cover your vegetables so they don't shrivel up. Okay. Why did I only take one? I wanted another one. Alright, good. So these guys are a bit beaten up. So um, this is a uh, lotus root. I don't know. I think for the real show, I'll do something more like a common day object. You know, like carrots or potato or some shit. This thing is kind of rare to find in the American supermarket. But this 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 first show is to just test out the camera. So it'll be experimental and see if it works. So basically, peel the skin, right? Um, this is a really good root, by the way. Uh, when I bought this, super fresh. Like, it comes with like the water on it. So you just want to get rid of the skin. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, You know, a fresh one, um, it should smell, have a sweet smell to it. Uh, so you know you have the good shit if it smells sweet. So what we're gonna do is we'll make it into slices, right? So we'll get rid of this. Okay, get rid of the other end. And we'll just slowly chop them into thin slices if you want to practice knife skill I highly recommend doing it on a root vegetable um, lotus root obviously a really cool root uh, carrot is also cool to practice on anything uh, potatoes um, I don't know, fucking carrots, turnips, daikon radish, uh, because it's really nice consistency, okay? So when you chop, you want to have the idea that, I fucked up there, did you see that? You want to kind of dig into the thing and have it kind of peel away from the knife, right? You're, what you want to think about is not cutting it, but kind of peeling it away, right? It's almost like you're peeling, so... 
so before I was actually cutting them really thin, but then they kind of st stick together in the pot. That's not good consistency. So for today, I'm cutting them a bit thicker, so about two milliliter to one milliliter, millimeter, fuck English. Um, all right, so just think about peeling it away, all right? Just peel it away. Be very patient. It doesn't take that long to cut. You just have to keep going at it. So the lotus root have a lot of these stringy, stringy thing. Can you see them? Maybe it doesn't show on the camera. See this string is coming out? Look like a little hair. That's really cool. So if you make it in a soup, you know, it's a big chunk. When you eat it, it makes these strings. When I was a kid, I would eat it and pull the string out and throw them at my parents. I don't know if they get mad at me. So it's getting harder and harder to cut because it's getting really short, right? So when that happens, you can make it more stable by giving it a flat surface, right? Alright, I'm gonna stop talking, I have to finish. My phone's almost out of battery, so... See, they're not too thin, right? It would take me way longer if I cut them more thin, it's doable. But, uh... It actually stick in the pot, like I said, so it's probably not worth it. Um, I don't know, let's try something crazy. Oh! Oh, look at- fuck! Obviously not pro- Not pro enough. This thing is hard as hell, I'm gonna cut my hand. Yeah, fuck you, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so root, when you stir fry root, they tend to stick together, so it's important to um, kind of rinse them with water. So to get rid of the uh, excessive starch. Giant bowl, always useful, by the way. It makes the coolest sound. It's fucking cool, right? I wonder if you're pro enough to make actual uh, music. Let's stop dicking around. So like I said, you want to rinse so the get rid of the starch in it so they don't stick together in the in the pan. You see the water? It's turning white, right? That's all the starch coming out. We'll just cut the rest this way. It's not optimal because this root has hole in it. It's already cut in one dimension. If you try to cut in the same direction, they, they turn out into this little pieces, right? But it's a bit dangerous to cut the other way, so we're gonna kind of just leave them like this for a while, okay? And now we need, so this thing only has green onion and this is, I don't even know, some kind of pepper. It's really hot, so we'll use like, uh, like this much maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Give it a good wash. Um, could probably put some oil in the pan. Some regular canola oil. Turn the heat to high. Oh no, the rice is ready. Okay, so. We'll cut this into little strings. So, a lot of people don't like vegetarian food because they want meat, right? But I think if you make vegetarian food like flavorful, like spicy, it actually tastes quite good. 
just look at Indian people, right? They've been eating spicy food for like a long time and they're all vegetarian. They taste really good. Oh my god, my nose is burning. <sighs> That's retarded. Alright, make sure they're dry. Or when I put them in the pot, they're gonna explode on me. So all Chinese recipe doesn't really have quantification, right? It's not like two ounces of this, two tablespoons of that, like quarter of a cup of like some other shit. It's all like a little bit, you know. You want some quantity, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So it's just like a little bit of pepper, a little bit of oil, a little bit of green onion. That's, you gotta go by feeling, right? Because you, like, these things are kind of, alive they don't really have a true like quantifier on it it's not like they're the same chemical and physical composition each time right so you gotta feel when in doubt you know just make it and taste it if it tastes good you know you're onto something right so they begin to kind of give off their flavor into the oil the reason you do this is a lot of flavor doesn't dissolve in water, right? Like these aromatic compounds tend to be like nonpolar or something, so they would dissolve in like a nonpolar solvent, like canola oil, right? Um, so while that's cooking, you see a lot of starch come out, right? But we want to get rid of all the water before we cook it. Oh no, the tiny pieces are just running off. I guess they don't like me. It's okay. Uh, just... You want to make sure you drain all the water. Um, I'm sure you heat up a pan of oil and put water in it, right? Like it'll absolutely explode. That's no, not very funny. I'm gonna pat out this extra water. Give them a good wipe, right? God, this thing is. Oh my god, it's so fresh, it smells amazing already. Okay, they are beginning to burn, so we'll just put them in right now. Okay, and give them a good... Like, it doesn't matter if they don't come apart, they will eventually come apart. Just, just keep tossing them right, until they kind of behave well. And the only flavoring is salt. That's all we'll ever use, right? Put some in there. And uh, this dish, you know, is good when the root turns semi-transparent, okay? So now they're very opaque, so you know they're raw. So you want to cook it, see this one? Can you see it? It's a little bit transparent, so that one's almost done. So you want to make sure everything is semi-transparent, okay? All right, there's no rush, just let it wait. Um, what we do now, we cut these guys. So, when you cut, Grab it like this, right? Use your knuckle to guide. It takes practice, but once you kind of got more used to it, it's really natural. You want to hold your knife kind of loose, right? So you kind of gently rock it. Because the blade is not straight, it has a little curve to it, so you, you want to rock it as your chop, right? Rock, 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 rock. Pretty good, and um, these are turning color. The can you see that? See that? More transparent. Stir fry is all about controlling tempo. It's one of the fastest way of cooking stuff. You can pipeline everything. So this one is not quite cooked, there, so we'll kind of leave them in there for. Again, there's no quantification. I would say like two minutes, but you just gotta wait wait for the visual feedback, right? You want 
you want them to look more transparent. So while we're at it, we're just... Why not wash dishes? Got a pipeline. Everything together. If you're not careful with your pipeline, your stuff get burned. That's no fun. But wait to look for it. Okay. Oh, dude, let's make that sound again. I like that sound. I really hope one day we make instrument out of that. That'll be legit. Shit, it's too big. Okay, look at that. Slightly burnt. It's okay. Slightly burnt stuff tastes delicious. Give it a few more toss. Okay, put this in. Turn off the heat. So green onion always go last. If you cook it too long. At least the leafy, the leafy green part. If you cook it too long, the flavor gets lost. So if you want, you could oil extract on the white part. And when you're about to be done, you put in the green part. So give it a bit more toss. But looks pretty good. Put it in here. Be very slow when you plate it. If you get all the grease onto the plate, if you move stuff around, it will leave like a streak of grease behind, right? That doesn't look very good, so... Mom always say, you know, quite chao cai man zhuang pan. So, basic means stir fry fast. But when you plate it, you want to be slow. Very slow. Okay. Alright, that's it, man. First dish. Let's take a look. I hope the camera is in focus. If it's not, fuck me. Looks pretty nice, eh? Try one. Shit, it's hot. Yeah, pretty good. Now we can wash dishes. Rice is here. Alright, that's it. Let me know what you think. Should I change format? Um, the overall goal of all this is to show how to, you know, quickly make food that's healthy and don't taste like crap from cheap materials. Yeah, um, see you next time. I'm done.